In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use a tool called the discriminant to determine whether or not a quadratic equation can be solved by using factoring. Suppose we have a quadratic equation like the one that you see here. We want to know if we can solve this using the method of factoring, or if we have to use another method like completing the square or the quadratic formula. How can we determine this? We can use a tool called the discriminant. The discriminant is a simple little formula, b squared minus 4ac. If b squared minus 4ac is a positive perfect square, you can use the method of factoring. If b squared minus 4ac is not a positive perfect square, you cannot use the method of factoring and you must resort to a different method, such as completing the square or using the quadratic formula. The question you might ask is where the numbers come from for this formula. Those numbers come from our equation, which must be written in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. It's important to note that the equation must equal zero before you can use this test. The numbers in the, f in the equation represent a, b, and c, and we can use those in the formula b squared minus 4ac in order to determine the value of the discriminant, which will ultimately tell us whether we can factor or cannot factor. Let's see how this works in an example. For the first example, we want to calculate the discriminant and then determine whether the equation can be solved by using factoring. We'll use the formula b squared minus 4ac in order to do this. Here's our first equation. 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0. The first thing I check is to make sure that the equation is written in standard form and that it is equal to 0. It is. I'm now ready to identify the values of a, b, and c. a is the number in front of the x squared, b is the number in front of the x, and c is the constant term. So a is 3, b is 5, and c is negative 1. I'm now ready to use my formula, b squared minus 4ac. b squared is 5 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 1. You can take this and type it directly into your calculator. The discriminant is 37. 37 is not a positive perfect square. What does that mean? It means we cannot solve by factoring. In order to solve this equation, you'll have to use another method, such as completing the square or the quadratic formula. It's important to note that the discriminant does not tell us what the solution or solutions to the equation are. The discriminant, 37, simply indicates that we cannot use the method of factoring. Let's take a look at a second example. We want to solve the equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 0. We want to know if we can use the method of factoring or if we have to resort to a different method. We decide to test by using the discriminant. We identify the values of a, b, and c. In this equation, a is 2, b is 7, and c is 3. We substitute those values into the formula b squared minus 4ac. 7 squared minus 4 times 2 times 3. We can type that directly into our calculator and see that the discriminant is 25. 25 is a positive perfect square, which means we can solve this equation by using the method of factoring. 25 does not tell us what the solution or solutions are, but simply that factoring is one of the tools that we can use to solve this equation. In our last example, we have the equation x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals negative 8. Be careful. Notice that this equation is not equal to 0, so we can't use the discriminant test yet. We must begin by adding 8 to each side so that we have an equation in standard form that's equal to 0. x squared plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. We identify the values of a, b, and c. a is the number in front of x squared, and I see no number written there, 
but there really is an invisible one. B and C are easily identifiable from the equation. So A equals 1, B equals 3, and C equals 10. We use the formula B squared minus 4AC to determine the value of the discriminant. 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. We type that directly into our calculator, and we see that the value of the discriminant is negative 37. Negative 37 is not a positive perfect square, so we cannot solve this equation by factoring. We must use a different method, completing the square or the quadratic formula to find the solution or solutions. Remember, the discriminant does not tell us what the solutions are, it's simply a tool to determine whether we can use factoring as a tool to solve the equation. When it comes down to solving an equation, it all comes down to the discriminant. We have many options to choose from when solving quadratic equations, factoring, completing the square, and the quadratic formula. The discriminant is a quick and easy test that we can use in order to determine whether or not factoring is one of the tools that we can use. You can learn more about quadratic equations in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook at www.dorypublications.com.